Good morning, Good morning everyone. everyone. Please, Please rise. Please turn your hymn book to page 14 to 15. Today we will sing a hymn number three. Give thanks. Let's sing the hymn once together. to page 5 and refer to item number 5. Today's scripture is taken from Psalms chapter 107 verses 1 to 1 and 8. Let's read it together. Give, Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His, his love endures forever. Let us thank Give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for men. Psalms chapter 107 verses 1 and 8. Please hold your hymn book. Let's bow and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for creating every one of us with uniqueness. Everyone is special, having different strengths and weaknesses. Thanks for giving us opportunity to learn from the story of other students. Lord, we pray that you grant us the strength to achieve the goals we set. Your word is the lamp for our feet, the light on our way. Please guide us to walk in your light so that we will not get lost in our own ways. Bless our whole assembly and lessons today. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. Please be seated. Good morning, fights and assistant principals, teachers and fellows. Today is time for storytelling. In the program Reflective Storytelling, all Form 2 to Form 5 students are required to reflect on their strengths, weaknesses and their general performance last year, as well as setting academic and non-academic goals for this year. In the past few weeks, every student got the chance to share their stories in class. Today, the best presented students of each class in Form 4 and Form 5 are going to share their stories with us. The presentation time allowed for each student is three minutes. Before the sharing, may I now invite our five and assistant principals on stage to proceed to the auditorium and enjoy the sharing. The 12 best storytellers are shown on the screen. 4A, Lan Hei Tong. 4B, Shum Hen Yin. 4C, So Wai Ho. 4D, Wong Ka Wen. 4E, Mac Hoi Tong. 4F, Yun Chuk To. 5A, Lam Ho Fong. 5B, Wei Si Yu. 5C, Wong Ting Yan. 5D, Chao Pa Ke. 5E, Choi Yao Kit. 5F, Lan Chen Yin. Before the presentation of Form 4 and Form 5 students, Form 2C, Man Chek Cho, will present his story again this morning because he did a wonderful sh presentation last Friday. Let's welcome them with a round of applause.
can't wait to hear the stories. Now, let's invite Man Chek So to share his story to all of us. So, good morning everyone. And um, you may wonder why I'm here, because I'm Form 2. But today I'm going to share about my story. So first, I will start with my weakness. So I'm lazy, careless, since they are too much. So I'm going, not going to list them out because I need to use five to six pages. But I think no one is perfect, even our principal, Ms. Chen. But really, no one is perfect. Whoever here thinks he is perfect, please put up your hands. Expect my pre expect. So, but everyone got their strength. So, whoever got his strength, please clap your hands. Uh, some of you didn't clap your hands, but whatever. So I'm helpful, friendly, and. At least I think I'm funny. So my personal goal of last year, pass in all subjects, learn how to cook, and lose my weight. It's a big challenge, you know. So my achievement. I went to a fencing competition, but I didn't win. And I got a grade 5 in violin. So uh, room for further improvement. Get passed in all subjects and learn how to cook. Success. <laughs> but lose my weight. Fail. <laughs> so personal goal for this year. To get top 10 in form, uh, top 16 in form. Improve in math. So what I'm going to do. Study the thing I have learned every day. And do math exercise for two hours every day. So... The thing I want to share is yesterday is a history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. And that's why they call it the present. Thank you. Thank you. May I now invite Learn Hei Chong from 4A to present her story. Everyone, today I would like to share my story with all of you. My name is Long Hei Tong, and you may call me Mimi. And this year I'm studying in Form 4A. So, talking about my strengths, I'm a very talkative and cheerful person. I really love to talk and I usually think positively. I would definitely say the glass is half cup full. Do you get the meaning? And for my weaknesses, at the same time, I'm too talkative. And usually, my parents and my friends will find me being too annoying. My time management is very poor, as I always find myself spending time doing nothing at home. I'm also a very impatient person, as I will lose my temper easily. In this year, I've set up several goals for myself. For a non-academic one, I want to participate in more community services, for instance, twice a month. And for my academic one, I want to get an A in Chinese and get grade B in my electives, which are chemistry, biology, and BFS. In order to achieve our goals, we need to manage them, right? So for my first goal, this year I have joined CYC and it really provides more opportunities for me to serve others. Inside the school, I'm a prefect so that I can serve other schoolmates. And outside the school, I also, also hope that I can serve the needy in the society. So I really hope that I can have at least 18 service hours. And I will set up timetables and detailed plans so that I can have a balance between my studies and serving others. 
For my second goal, which is apparently a very challenging one, I would jot down important notes in lessons because teachers may always give us guidelines or tips that you cannot find in textbooks. We should pay attention in class. I would read more well-written Chinese articles, do exercises about Chinese literature, or even write a composition every week so that I can improve my comprehensive and writing skills. At last, for my third goal, I would revise the notes after each lesson as this can help me to memorize things more efficiently. Secondly, I would read more scientific books and articles so that I can have a better understanding of the concepts in chemistry and biology. Lastly, I believe that practice makes perfect. I should really study more and work hard in order to improve my grades. So at last, uh, in the picture, there are two circles, right? And in the smaller one, this is where you are, and in the bigger one, this is where your goals are. In order to achieve our goals, you need to step out of your comfort zone. But there may be something blocking our ways, and people may just simply give up because they are too afraid of failures. But this is not what we should do. Maybe there are always challenges, but we have to learn to deal with it, right? There's always another way out. Instead of giving up, we should keep trying until we find another way to achieve our goals. Remember, it's better to try and fail than to never try at all. We should all keep moving, keep trying until we have achieved our goals. I know that maybe my presentation may not be very interesting and it's kind of boring, but I hope that you like my sharing. Thank you. Thank you, Len. <coughs> Thank you, Len Hei It's now Sham Hen Yin's turn. Good morning, everyone. Today, I would like to share my story with all of you. I'm Sham Hen Yin from Form 4B, and my three electives is Biology, Geography, and Visual Arts. Now I will talk about my strengths. I'm good at visual art and I think I'm creative. So I can think of many new ideas when doing projects, painting, drawing, or uh, doing the artwork. Besides, I do everything in great, de great details. So I think I'm a perfectionist. As I'm a perfectionist, <coughs> I do everything very slowly and so I cannot finish the tests or the examination paper very often. And moreover, I have poor English and liberal study results. And for my goals last year, the first academic goal is to get the first position in visual arts in both terms. I only achieved this goal 50%, and for the second academic goals, getting C grade or above in LBS, I cannot achieve this goal uh, uh, neither in the first or the second term. And for the non-academic goals, joining more CCA or activity that about music, I only joined the same contest last year. And for choosing the right electives, I cannot choose BFS as the originally uh, subjects that I want to study in form for geography, visual art, and BFS. And neither one of them is the block one subjects of this year. And so I cannot choose BFS instead biology. And for my achievement, I got the first position in visual arts in the second term. And finally, I got the top five in visual arts in the whole year. And room for further improvement. First, I would like to read more types of books so I can enhance my knowledge. And secondly, I will always have pre-lesson preparation before having lessons. And I will jot notes in lessons and organize the notes when I'm free. My personal goals this year, the first academic goal is to get average marks of each term higher than 65 marks. And secondly, I would like to get a good position in visual art. And for the non-academic goal, I would like to join more voluntary work like selling fats or visiting the elderly. And for my implementation and monitoring plan, I would like to review the contents that I've learned in different lessons and make a list to do the things that I want to do, and so I can have a better time management and studying. And so this is the end of my presentation. Thank you.
Thank you, Sham Han Yin. May we now invite So Wai Ho from 4C. Um, okay. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm So Wai Ho Charles from Form 4C. So today, um, I'm going to I'm going to uh, introduce myself to all of you guys. Um, first thing first. Um, Let's talk about my hobbies. Um, it is uh, I like computer, anime, and making models. Um, I'm quite addicted in anime, um, and you see um, this is uh, uh, one of the most uh, my favorite anime. It is Sword Art Online. And next, um, I think my strength is, is helpful, and I'm good at math and science subjects. <laughs> um, um, except uh, chemistry because I do not like that. <laughs> and my weaknesses, I'm not patient, um, especially when I was waiting for something but I don't have a smartphone to play. Um, I'm bad at Chinese, I failed two times in paper one last year. And I will get nervous easily. Um, even when I was standing here, I feel and I'm in poor at communication skills. Um, for my dream job, I want to be a computer engineer. Um, for my electives, uh, I choose physics, ICT, and biology as my electives. Um, many people ask me why I choose biology but not uh, chemistry, chemistry because as I said, I don't like chemistry at all. Um, for my goals last year, I want to get top 10 in math and science subjects, which means V6 chemistry and biology, but only math and biology get top 10. And Chinese and English, as I said, my Chinese is bad, so I don't get the top 30. For my achievements last year, I got a subject prize in biology and I got a counter prize. <laughs> uh, room for improvement and I st I'm still playing too much computer games, watching too much anime and watching YouTube and I spend too less time on reading books. Um, for the goals last year, uh, I want to remain at the top place in biology and get top ten in physics and top ten in uh, top five in ICT. Um, the last goal is la like last year. Um, I to achieve this goal, I need to spend at least forty five minutes every day to read books, no no matter English or Chinese. Um, and also re read newspaper and reduce the time of playing computer games to two hours a week because I played two hours per day last year. So uh, last but not least, I am going to share a quote, work hard, play hard. <laughs> this is a quote that I, over, I always say. Um, so this is the end. Thank you. Thank you, So I Ho. May I now invite Wong Ka Wen from 4D. Good morning, everyone. Today I am going to talk about my reflective story. Oh, first I would like to talk about my strength. My strength is constructing, helpful, and logical. I help to repair all the things in my parents' home so that I like to discover the structure of everything. And this leads to my second strength. My second strength is helpful. I will try my best to help others within my ability. And my last strength is logical. I can think logically so I acquire better in the subjects such as maths and economics. So everyone has their weakness. So my weakness is less confidence. I do not have a well organization in my speaking, so I am frightened on stage. Secondly, pessimistic. I'm a very negative person. I think everything very negative. And my last goal, my last weakness is shy. I want to talk with others more. However, I think I have a great gap between me and others. 
So I have some reflection on my <coughs> self. Uh, actually, how weakness uh, lead to our strength, I think the most important is our attitude. Try to accept your weakness and embrace though you cannot change. And actually, no one is perfect. Uh, so be positive and learn from your weakness. And my personal goals for my last year is get good academic results uh, and below rank 50, I got success in this goal. And my second goal is to get at least grade B in core subjects. So I achieve in both Chinese and mathematics, but I am fail in English. And I have said my dream job for last year is to become an economist. <clears throat> for my academic goal this year, I want to get improvement compared with last year and get great improvement in English and keep great B in Chinese and maths. So for my non-academic uh, non goal, I would like to be more independent and do more social service and be more hardworking and balance sports between and study. So how I should balance my sports and my studies. I had ever thought they were closely affected each other. I thought, I thought sports must affect our studies and studies must affect our sports. And actually, it is separate. My coach told me that we can do the things we like if we wa really want, no matter how hard we try. So we can have a good academic results, and at the same time, we are an outstanding athletic. And I didn't got any achievement in this year and last year. So I think achievements should not bound by only competitions. So I would like to join more volunteer works this year and to have some more achievement. So room for further improvement, I think I should <coughs> have more import improvement in English and improve in studies and get some more achievement. So uh, I should, this is my plan for uh, my goal. And my second plan is to read more books and newspaper and finish all the English builder this year so I can <laughs> achieve my goal. And although I do not have any quotes for myself, but I think diligence is the recipe for success. Thank you. Thank you. It's now Mac Hoi Tong's turn. Um, good morning, everyone. I'm Mac Hoi Tong Bella from Form 4E, and today I would like to share my reflective storytelling with all of you. Um, firstly, let me introduce myself. I'm now taking history, chemistry, and biology as um, my electives. And one of my strengths is that I speak Spanish. I've been learning Spanish for um, one and a half year, and I like it very much because it's simple and interesting. Also, it's similar to English. Moreover, I'm an organized person because I like cleaning very much and I like to um, tidy my room, my bookshelf, and my desk. However, I also have a lot of weaknesses. And one of them is that I have really poor time management. I've joined three CCAs and also have Guzheng and music theory and also a Spanish lesson outside. So it does, this reduces my time for study. Also, I'm a forgetful person. If I plan on doing something and I do not write it down, I will forget it immediately. As for my achievement, I like languages very much and I also um, have uh, joined the Putonghua Speech Festival in primary school. I ha I've been um, the first in Putonghua since Form 1. And last year, I planned to get a better position in mathematics than Form 2, which I succeeded, and also to be able to choose my favorite electives, which I also succeeded. And this year, I still want to improve my goals in mathematics because I'm still not satisfied with my uh, position. So to do so, I will do more supplementary exercise. Um, I will uh, finish all the exercise in the test books and do the supplementary exercise every another day since I have a busy schedule. 
If I encounter any difficulties, I'll never hesitate to ask my friend because um, I think my friend is helpful and they will really help me. As another goal is uh, to improve in Chinese, I'll read more Chinese newspapers. Since I'm not a big fan of Chinese books, reading newspapers can help my reading and writing skills and also my um, liberal studies. Um, finally, uh, for the non-academic goal, I want to join at least three social services and to achieve it, I'll join the St. John Nursing Cadets and which provides me a lot of opportunities uh, to join different uh, social services. And so um, to sum up my reflective storytelling, I would like to uh, cite a quote from uh, a, a, an American author, which is Robert Collier. Success is the sum of small efforts, repeated day in and day out. I believe if we follow our implementation strictly, we'll all achieve our goals. Thank you. Thank you. The next presenter is Yun Chuck Cho from 4F. Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to share my story. Uh, my name is Yun Chuck To, Tony, and first of all, let me introduce, uh, talk about my strengths and weaknesses. Uh, I'm good at communicating with others, I can speak decent English, uh, I'm good at sports, but I don't know how to swim, I know how to float though. Uh, I'm a cheerful and helpful person, I love cheering people up, because uh, I hate seeing people feeling sad, and I think I'm good at playing community games like League of Legends, uh, but it's not good playing too much. Uh, so here's my weaknesses. Uh, I have poor concentration on studying, and I'm bad at Chinese and liberal study. Uh, I love playing too much, and I hate feeling. Uh, I hate the feeling of being lonely, and hate. I, and I hate reading. Uh, so this is my uh, personal goal for 2014 to 15. Uh, I was trying to get at least 60% marks uh, in all subjects and read five Chinese and English books but I felt them all. Uh, and this is the achievement I got last year, is that I uh, got my three decided electives, uh, account, econ, and physics, and made some new friends and read a book. And what I should do to improve myself is, I think I should read more books, uh, and uh, so, it, so I can improve in Chinese and liberal study, uh, make a detailed timetable, and concentrate more on studying and try to be more independent because uh, my friends won't uh, be sticking with me all the time. And this is the personal goal for 2015 to 16. Uh, I'm not going to talk about them all, but uh, I'm going to focus on three things instead. Uh, the first thing is uh, I should finish all my homework by myself on time with good qualities uh, because during that process uh, I'm actually kind of revising what I've learned and no sleeping during lessons because I think uh, what teachers taught uh, teachers is really important that I may not be able to uh, find it in textbook. And the last thing is, last but not least, but uh, is no foul language while arguing because it damages the uh, relationship between me and others. And this is the implementation and monitoring plan. Uh, I should sleep before 11 o'clock, uh, but the optimum time should be 10.30, so I will be able to get eight hours sleep. And make a detailed timetable and jot down notes while, while, while uh, during lessons so uh, I won't fall asleep easily and make notes at home and take a deep breath while I get mad so I won't say things that uh, hurt people and I should not think too much and just do it. And I'm going to end it with a quote that which doesn't kill us make us stronger by this person. So this is the end of our presentation. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Form 4 students have finished their presentations. And now, I, I invite Lam Ho Fong from 5A. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yes, first of all, who am I? Yes, I'm Lam Ho Fong Justin. But many people call me Ban Zheng. Because I've been assigned to be the monitor since Form 1 until now the fifth year. And um, in the process, I discovered some of my strengths. 
Uh, first of all, I'm a joyful person. Also, I have unity with others. I'm also a socialized person. And I'm also tolerance, integrity, and I'm a non-smoker. However, um, being the monitor helped me to overcome some of my weaknesses, such as a jealous of others, I'm relenting and self-centered. And still, I need some improvement for my time management and memorizing for uh, longer. So for my personal goals last year is to read more books to enhance my language skills and also uh, to be more MC to improve my presentation skills, etc. And I've been the MC of a swimming gala, every week, etc. And also dance in front of the mirror every weekend. But this is rather difficult because um, I still remember one time I danced and I enjoying myself. <laughs> and then suddenly my father appeared. And then my father said in Chinese, <laughs> and then just, that's just uh, embarrassing, yes. And for my achievement, I have a dancing showcase um, in Sha Tin, um, and also I get the violin grade 7. And um, for room for further improvement is um, to do what you love and love what you do. It's very simple, if you hate this uh, whole assembly, then what will you do? Oh, Mr. Mo, uh, when this me so? Uh. But if you love whole assembly, then what would you do? You would listen to the one on the stage, and then you would jot down the notes on your student handbook. Justin's presentation is very boring, etc. That means you would jot some notes. And for my personal goals this year is to show dance to 2016 people and also get a violin grade eight. And um, the most important, plan to chat at. This is a quality management method adopted uh, internationally as a cycle to improve yourself. You can jot it down on your student handbook. Plan to chat at. And last but not least, for my implementation and monitoring plan is to write diary every day to reflect myself. And of course, I also want to be the monitor next year because I can contribute more to my class. And um, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. The next presenter is Wei Si Yu from 5B. Good morning, everyone. Today, I would like to introduce myself. So my name is Wei Si. I study music, history, and Chinese history, and also biology. And these are the pictures I took when I was small. And let's talk about my strengths. I'm quite friendly. I am quite proactive. I like to participate in many um, CCAs. And also, I'm quite conscientious to treat the things that I'm interested. And I'm quite confident to talk in front, in front of others. Yeah. And let's talk about my weaknesses. I have poor time management. I cannot separate the time for study and entertainment. And I'm quite stubborn. I, um, I always um, stand for my stance and I don't listen to others. And I'm quite lazy in things that I'm not interested in, And I'm poor in mathematics. So for my personal goals last year, and academically, I want to get top 20 in maths, but I fail. And for non-academic goal, I want to get diploma in piano. I also failed because I haven't taken the exam. And I want to get proficiency certificates in speech festival. And I achieved this goal, and also I achieved to serve others. And for the achievements academically, I got A grade in both Chinese and English speaking in second term. And I got top 15 in Chinese and top 20 in English. And for the non-academic achievements, uh, I got grade in singing p and in piano. And also I got free, grade 3 in PEPA exam. And I got a champion and a second prize in speech festival. And I got several prizes with the choir and the magical group, and also for composing the speech, fest, uh, speech choir piece. And I got two scholarships in school. 
And for rooms for further improvements, I should not be that lazy because I always play and play and forget to study. And I should listen to others' opinions and I should not be that stubborn. And I should have a better time management since my maths is very poor. I need to spare some time to do maths exercise. And my dream job is to be an operatic singer. And therefore, for my personal goals this year, um, academically, I want to get at least C grade in maths and grade A in English and top 10 in Chinese and top 3 in Ch Chinese history. And non academic goal, I want to get diploma in piano and got four champions in speech festival and able to sing the high, high register. And my implementation and monitoring plan, I want to get, I want to, um, get a better results in mathematics, so I need to do more maths exercise and read more English and Chinese books and study Chinese history earlier. And non-academic goal, I need to practice piano for at least an half an, an hour every day and practice more before speech festival and ask for more opinions. And I will practice singing and sing any song which include the register I want to re reach. And so I would like to end with a quote, never give up on a dream just because of the time it will take to accomplish and the time will pass anyway. So this is the end of my presentation and I hope you guys can achieve your goals and this year. Thank you. Thank you. We now invite Wang Ting Yan from Form 5C. Testing, testing. So um, good morning everyone, I'm Grace from Form 5C and today I'm going to share my reflective storytelling with you. Um, before I get started, don't expect too much because I'm not a high flyer. Um, well, let's start with my strengths and weaknesses. I think I'm good at art and speaking, but I got extremely poor results in maths and I'm a very negative person, I always think negatively. And for my personal goals last year, actually I've got a long list for that, but I just shortened it into topics. And for my maths, I, um, I only achieved 75%, but um, I am still satisfied because I really did improve a lot last year. And you can see my Chinese, I only achieved 25%, so I'm gonna tell you why. Well, because I found that some of my goals are not that visible, just like Chinese, I aimed to get a grade B or above last year, but um, though I did improve a lot at the very end, but I still failed to achieve my goal. So I try to assess it with percentage this year. Um, I want to get 70% in my Chinese tests and exams, and I really want to get an A in visual arts this year, um, because visual arts is quite hard to uh, assess with percentage, so I use grade instead. And for my non-academical goals, first of all, I would like to practice leadership. Well, because I participate in many CCA's activities, and I found that sometimes it does not only require me to have the skill to work with others, but also how to lead a team. And it's in fact very important for me, so practicing leadership is the main non-academical goal that I want to achieve this year. And secondly, I want to learn how to relax and take things easy. I'm always tense, you can just ask any of my friends and they're going to tell you that, oh yes, Grace is serious about everything. And it just doesn't make me approachable, so I want to change things a little bit this year. And thirdly, I want to rely on God when facing difficulties. Well, last year I somehow lost faith for half a year and then I somehow collapsed. And I just doesn't want it to happen again. So yeah, I want to have more faith this year. So for my implementation and monitoring plan, I want to find ways to relax because I'm always under stress. Pray hard, study hard, work hard, and, and for leadership, 
I don't, I don't know if you have ever heard a Chinese proverb saying, I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. I think it's just like leadership. If you are going to give me big lessons on how to practice leadership, I'm going to forget it. But if I see you do it, and I'm going to remember it. And if I finally practice it myself, I'll understand. So here are my last words. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. So I chose this not because my name is on it, but um, so because sometimes when we are facing difficulties, we are like just lost dreams and faith. So if you have a goal, if you have a dream, just go for it because God is always there. So this is the end of my presentation. Thank you. Thank you. It's now Chao Park Hayes' turn. Good morning, everyone. Today, I would like to share about my story. Okay. Sorry, it's not working, this device. So I'm Charbeck Haig, studying in 5D. And I like listening to music and dancing as well. And the CC I joined this year is the Manson Prefect Association and something else. So for my strength, I'm an active person, which means I actively join every activities, no matter if it's schoolwork or CCA. And I'm a decision maker, which means I can come up with a decision or suggestion quickly. Also, I own good organizing skills, which means I can simplify complicated things. And I like asking questions, which means I am a person full with, full with curiosities. So let's talk about my weakness. I own weak communication skills. I'm quite nervous standing at, at the stage now. And sometimes I can't present my ideas in a proper way and cause many misunderstanding. And I'm a quite lazy person, and so my examination results is not good enough. Also, I always face difficulties. And so the problems always get worse when I truly face them. For my personal goal I set last year, for academic, I hope to pass in every subject and be the top 10 in my class. And for non-academic, I hope to serve others more. And at last, I pass in all the aim I set last year. So here's some rooms for further improvement. I will set clear goal, such as some better plans and timing. I will also have reflection on my action to seek quote for improvements. And also, I will hold a steady faith to encourage myself to strive for excellence. Here's some of my achievements. I was the general affairs and secretary well, in the in prefect association in the past two years. And it is my honor to be the deputy head prefect in this year. I will try my very best to serve the to serve prefect association and to serve our school. And the goal I set this year. I hope to get grade C in core subject and get grade B in elective subject. And I have taken physics, economy, and chemistry as my elective subjects. For law academic, I have to explore my dream job. For academic, I will set up a timetable, study after school, and pay attention in classes. And also, I will have good preparation before tests and examinations. For long academic, I will get more information from the internet, such as the Drupal's website, and I will take part in the university information day to know more about more different, different university. And this is the end of my sharing. Thank you. Thank you. May we now invite Chai Yao Kit from Form 5E. Okay, got it. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Choi Kit uh, Dono from 5E. And so, first of all, let's start with my uh, strengths and weaknesses. And I think reflecting on one's strengths and weaknesses is very important. Yes, it is let us understand ourselves and to improve ourselves. So my strengths are uh, concentrate. I will focus on one thing easily, uh, as well as optimistic. I'm an optimistic person, as you know, and I always laugh and I always smile. And also, I'm a quick learner because I'm concentrate and also I'm a quick learner. And as for my weaknesses, 
Uh, I'm careless. I usually commit uh, careless mistakes, uh, espe uh, especially in uh, my account subjects and also my mathematics subjects. <laughs> and also, I'm impatient. Uh, um, although I will focus easily, but um, it won't last long. And also, I'm a quite lazy guy, and uh, when I try to, uh, I will use the least time to do the most thing. So my personal goals last year, and for academic, I'm wa I want to obtain a better academic results last year, and also I want to do more voluntary services. And but I achievement I achieved that uh, the first in the class in last academic year, and as well as um, I participated in several volunteer services as well. Uh, for example, the flag sailing and the surface program organized by uh, uh, our school, and but. Uh, there's uh, always room for improvement, and uh, I think my goals last year is to uh, to not concrete. So the goals this year should be more concrete and practical, uh, because they don't have any measurement on uh, whether I achieved that my goals or not last year. So therefore, uh, this year uh, I set um, more goals, more concrete goals for myself and. For academic, I want to get a grade B in uh, mathematics and Chinese language. As both subjects in last year, I get a grade C. And there's always room for improvement for myself. And also, I want to improve my year average mark to 70 or above, just uh, 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 a bit from my goal last year. So for my implementation and monitoring plan, for mathematics, I will clarify concepts and ask questions when I don't understand, and I will complete the revision exercise and te stage tests after finishing each chapter or section. And for Chinese language, I will pay more attention in class and drop notes, and uh, uh, yes, note taking is important, as well as I will read and write more. And for my goals this year, for the non-academic dream job, and for my dream job, as, uh, actually, my short-term goal is to study music in the, my undergraduate program. It is great to know that I know uh, I know myself, and I want I hope to study music. And but for my long-term goal, I want to become a music tutor. And goals seems to be uh, unrealistic, but actually, actually can easily achieved. And. <laughs> Uh, for my implementation and monitoring plan, and I will prepare for my ATCL diploma in the coming year, and as well as I will learn singing as my second instrument. Uh, uh, for more about, and I'm being the choir leader for this year, and so I will work hard. Um, and currently, I'm studying the DSC music program to prepare me, prepare, prepare myself to uh, study music. And so. Uh, to end with, I want to uh, state the quote, and this is aim for the moon, and if you miss, you may hit a star, by a famous businessman, Clement Stone, and uh, it will encourage me to pursue my dream more, and this is the end of my presentation. Thank you. Thank you. The last presenter is Lern Chen Yin from 5F. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Justin Lunchin from 5F, and I'm going to share my story to all of you. First, let me talk about my strengths. I think I'm a hardworking person. I used to be a lazy student in the past that I seldom do well in my school works. But after I promoted to the senior form, I realized the importance of studying, and so I paid more effort in it. Also, I'm an optimistic person. When I face difficulties and failures, I seldom feel depressed. Thirdly, I think I'm responsible, especially for my house stuffs. So for my weaknesses, I think I'm an emotional person. People's words or just a small action may trigger my sensitivity. Moreover, I would easily get angry, as if someone or something could not meet my standard. More than that, I think I'm stubborn. I seldom act as a good listener, even though I, I have done something wrong. So let's move on my goals I set last year. I've set three major goals. The first one is to get a pass in all subjects, and I achieved it. I've got a pretty good results in LS and a big improvement in math and Chinese. The second thing is to rank top five in class, 
is also a success. Thirdly, I plan to attend more volunteer work. I think I have just completed it partially. Cause I only participate in the flag selling service organized by the school last year. But I did not take part in activities organized by other NGOs because of time limitation. And for my goals in 2015 to 2016, they are more or less the same as last year's. However, I have cancelled the participation of volunteer work, as I expect academic workload in Form 5 should be heavier, heavier than Form 4. So I replace it with another goal to improve our house ranking. Being the leader of Tech House, um, I hope I can lead our house to rise to the top four among the six houses, to lead Tech House to glory. And for my implementation and monitoring plan this year, I've set a time, uh, of last year, I've set a timetable to, to monitor myself. I tried to follow this timetable. However, there are some technical problems when following it. It lacks flexibility. For example, I've already scheduled what I should study on a particular day or time. But if there are some pop-up quizzes or tests from other subjects, I will fall into a dilemma between following the scheduled timetable and handling the most urgent task. As you can see, there are several differences between the former and latter. Um, example, I will study Chinese for an hour on Monday instead of forcing myself to study from 5 to 6 p.m. It can be more flexible for me to regulate and make good use of my time. Also, I've left some columns blank. These are the buffer time. It means that if I have something urgent to do, such as quizzes or tests, I can take the time and work on them. Last but not least, set a goal so big that you can't achieve until you grow into the person you can. Nothing is, is, is impossible. The impossible one is yourself. Although the goal set by yourself may be difficult to achieve or even beyond imagination. However, without trying, you won't know the result. We should remind ourselves we can and try our best. Don't let yourself down. Thank you. Thank you all the presenters for your wonderful sharing with us today. I hope that all of you can try your best to achieve your goals. May I now pass the mic to Mr. Mock for dismissal. Thank you for the presentation. Um, I know we have overrun by about 25 minutes. One more point to remind you. Uh, last year we, we had a uh, questionnaire survey for the evaluation of storytelling. This year we no longer have a questionnaire survey. Instead you have a evaluation form. We have given you the form already. You should write down uh, your personal goals on the form and then do self-evaluation and also invite your peers and teachers to comment, to give comment and encouragement in these three periods. And these forms will be displayed on the uh, bulletin board until the end of the school year, so please keep them in, in good condition. Now we come to the end of the school assembly with the teachers live first and students.